Hello everybody, this is Bert at Full Circle Accounting in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, today we're going to walk you through how to void out a blank check. Um, it's actually a pretty simple process, however it's a little confusing because you do have to do um, two simple steps in order to um, properly void out a, um, a blank check. Um, sometimes this happens when it gets stuck in a, um, a printer or the edge is torn or a number of different reasons. Um, in order to do this procedure, um, from your QuickBooks um, desktop, you want to go to Banking, which is in the top center line typically. Um, select the Write Checks um, menu. The shortcut for that, by the way, is Control W, so you can use either one. Once that screen pulls up, you want to select your bank account that the check would have been drafted for, because again, it's a numerical sequence. Um, then, in order for a blank check to be voided, you want to select um, a name. It doesn't ma really matter who in this case because, again, it's going to be voided out. You would select a name and then assign it a expense account, which is in the bottom half of the check. Um, once you do that, um, don't worry about an amount. You can put in a fictitious amount if you'd like. Then go back up to the top under Edit and you're going to want to click um, Void Check. So again, to recap, you want to go to Banking and then Write Check or Control W to bring up a check. Uh, put in a uh, fictitious name there. Don't worry about an amount, but you do need to assign an expense account. Um, once you have those two or three items in, you're going to want to go to Edit and then you're going to want to, about halfway down in that menu, is void check. You'll then do a save and close at the bottom of the check. Um, check in your register and um, your check should be showing as void. I hope this uh, short clip helps you void out blank checks and again please uh, feel free to visit our website at www.wisconsinquickbooks.com.